All right, guys, so let me show you what I got here. It's a little chilly today, so I do have a jacket on. But I have in my hand a Hemaluca Maya sex pheromone lure that is four years old. It's This thing's been in my freezer for four years. And we're gonna chat, we're gonna open it up and see if four years in my freezer, after four years in my freezer, will it still work? Let's check it out. Alrighty. So it's a little chilly today. It's overcast day, January. Um, what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually going to open this up here. open this up and so they keep the artificial lures you can see it says Hemaluca Maya and this was this is four years old but um it's it's in a sealed package but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the sealed package and we're gonna we're gonna dump out here our lures You know, I, I don't smell anything. <laughs> so these are the lures here, guys. And I'm gonna keep that bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin one of these lures right here on my sweater. And the other one, well, we'll pin this on my sweater too, for now might pin it on a tree and see if uh, we can get some good natural video of these things, if they come. So I'm in, I'm literally in the parking lot of our little test site for Hemaluca Maya. This is as far south as I've ever understood them to be recorded in Florida. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna walk in here and we're gonna see what we can find. Um, two years ago, I came here on a caterpillar hunting mission and there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Hemaluca larvae. They were everywhere. Oh, look at that. There's one right there, guys. Holy smokes. Look. That didn't take long. There is a wild Hemaluca Maya right there. It's a male too. It must have just emerged from a pupa, guys. I, I, I'm literally Guys, I am 10 feet, eh, more like 40 feet from the entrance. And right here, it, it hasn't come to my pheromone, but there is a Hemaluca Maya chilling right there, guys. All right, guys, look, 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 look. Here's a Hemaluca coming right now, it's flying. Let's see, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. All right, guys, I have, can you see him flying? I'll bet he's gonna come right at me. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Watch, 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 watch. Look at this. Look, 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 here he comes. He's, he's following the lure. He's following the lure. Two of them. Oh my goodness. He's looking for the lure, guys. Look at him. The lure's sitting right here. I guarantee he's gonna come right up on me. Look. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Look, 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 look. How cool, how freaking cool is this, man? Look. He's intent on finding. Where's the girl? 
<laughs> He's looking for a girl, man. Okay, guys. I'm going to get some quick video of this one before he flies. This one probably just emerged and is just chilling, drying his wings. And he's very content, but he's starting to get a little agitated and I'm not sure if it's because I'm here, I'm making noise, or if it's because he smells the pheromone. I'm really not sure, but starting to buzz his wings a little bit. Let me see if I can get some video from this side. How cool is that? Awesome. This guy over here is still looking for his girlfriend. Where is he? All right, so our little Hemaluca Maya. Oh yeah, he's just dripping his marconium. He just emerged, guys. Oh, there he goes. There he flies. He flies. He flies. He flies. There he goes. How cool is that? And he's flying around. Is he going to come look for the girl? Or is he just going to fly away somewhere? Oh, he just landed. Let's try and get some video. That was the first flight. Of the Hemaluca Maya, he only flew probably 10 feet away, landed on an oak tree stem. And he's sitting right there on the oak tree stem. That was the first flight, only 10 feet, 10 feet away. Definitely has never flown before. He just dripped out his Marconium after birth stuff that they store up in their abdomen while they're in the pupa. So he just emerged, dried his wings, and took his first flight. All right, so I've been in this place for three minutes, and I had witnessed one Hemaluca Maya male that had just emerged. But while I was watching that one, I had another male smell the pheromone for sure. It's about 64 degrees. It's the end of... January, we're probably, I think it's January 25th, and uh, it's chilly, it's cloudy, a little bit breezy, it's not It's not weather that you would expect, um, you would not expect weather like this to be weather that you'd go looking for bugs, or even a time of year that you'd go looking for bugs, but Hemaluca Maya is a bug that lives in the oaks, you know, they feed on these these, this scrub oak stuff here. So this is this is all Hemaluca Maya habitat here. This is a really scrubby, sandy area. This oak that that's down here. Actually, that's a live oak stem. Scratch that. They'll eat live oak, but they they prefer scrub oak. I'm going to show you that to you, the difference here. But that shows you guys four years in the freezer. My pheromone that was that was given to me four years ago. It's been sitting in the freezer. It still works. I took it out of the bo out of the back package and it's still attracting moths, which is really, really cool. So I'm gonna walk a little deeper into this oak hammock and I'm gonna see if we can find uh, some more. Like he never made it all the way to land on me, <laughs> but actually there's a zebra. First butterfly of the day, guys. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, guys, we're gonna try, we're gonna try to see if we can find some more Hemaluca Maya buck moths as we walk into this hammock. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so this is scrub oak. It's different from live oak. In fact, there's a live oak right here. Live oak gets a lot taller. Um, scrub oak is smaller. You know, they get, I see them, yeah, there's 12, 13 feet tall right here. And that's the stuff that the Hemalucas love. So this is, the, the leaves are smaller, they're more compact. Uh, it's a very, very compact, sturdy plant. And they live here, and guys, uh, two years ago, if you don't remember, 
I came in here looking for caterpillars, I think in February, and their caterpillars were, there's thousands of them. So this is the habitat. This is the host plant, our scrub oaks. And uh, so we're right in the middle of where I would think Hemaluca Maya would be on the prowl looking for girls, you know? So if there's males around, um, it's funny now that I've come a little deeper into the hammock, I haven't, I haven't seen any more moths. There was two right by the entrance. But we're gonna walk around a little bit more and see what we can find. Okay, I'm gonna stay nice and still as I'm walking around. Here he comes, guys. Here he comes. He's looking for the girl. I'm gonna stay real still. I'm hoping that we'll show you how this moth, this, this is a male buck moth that smells the pheromone. The pheromones are right there in my jacket. And he's coming in, coming in, coming in. So their chemical receptors are in their antennae and they're so sensitive that they can smell just little tiny fragments of this chemical that's just coming off of this little lure. Here's another one, two of them guys. So there's two of them now. Look at that. How beautiful is that, man? So I'm gonna come down here on the ground see if I can get some firsthand up close footage. So the guys are looking for the girl. Look at this. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. Watch this guys. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it right here. In fact, I'll, I'll put both of them right there for the sake of the video. And we're gonna see how long it takes for them to find it. Look at them all. How cool is this? Look at this. <laughs> Lure's right here. He's looking for it. There he is. There he is. Where is she? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That doesn't, that's not a girl. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. That is so cool. All right, while I'm here waiting, uh, two of the guys that just came in, they quickly left once they saw that this was not a female. It just smelled like a female. But I was kind of curious because I looked right over here, right on this branch, there is an old hemaluca moth. It looks like it's dead. Totally dead, totally petrified, sitting there on the branch of this. It's a male too. It's just sitting there on the branch, totally desiccated. Very interesting. You know, like I, I don't know why it would have sat there. Oh, look, there's another one. Another one just came in. How cool is that? Here comes two, here comes second one. There's another one. We got two males hunting for the female. Where is she guys? <laughs> oh, you know what? I wonder if, what if we did this? What if we took this male corpse and actually put them right here and see what happens? Oh yeah. Oh, it's kind of, it's actually kind of twisted. <laughs> it's kind of twisted. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hemaluca Maya coming to the artificial sex pheromone. They have no care in the world that I'm sitting here talking. I'm bending down to get as close as I can to get you some video of this phenomenon right now. Look at this. 
Uh, guys, if you like the video, um, that shows you that a pheromone that's four years old in the freezer, as long as it's sealed, will maintain enough chemical integrity to continue to work uh, and attract m male moths four years later. So give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'm starting to get a little lightheaded. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we've got plenty more action where this is coming from, guys. Until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Even on cool winter days, we can find butterfly and moth activity. Take care, guys.